Hey trackers, Bear Tracker Nature Films here, and I'm sitting in an otter latrine, not in, next to. Um, so, I'm right on the edge of the Eel River. You can see the water right down there, and these rocks are right at the edge right there. And this latrine is maybe five, six feet above the water line right now. And you can see numerous otter scats accumulated in here. They're all over there, under these leaves over here. I'll move some of them so you can see. Otter scat there. Here's an otter scat. There's one. There's one right there. And then these here. Now look at this area right around here. So the vegetation here has turned brown and died back. And that's called a brownout. It's caused by the otter's urine uh, when they deposit scent and urine here. Um, excuse me, scat and urine. They're leaving scent behind for others of their species and it also creates this visual sign in the form of kind of the browning out of the vegetation. And um, this particular riverbank has been used by otters for many years, and so they come by and they just deposit scat, and then another otter might visit, and then another one, and, and so on and so forth. So the otters are communicating with each other by leaving scat and scent here on this riverbank. And they have preferred places where they do this quite often. Um, and they will use those over and over year after year. So every summer this particular otter latrine develops again because during the winter the high water uh, covers this. Um, the river is at a very low flow right now because of summer but seasonally um, this, this water comes quite a bit up and covers this area. So up here further there is also an area that the otters have used as a latrine in the past and they use it when the water is higher. So, I'm right smack dab in the middle of it. There's another bit of it right over here where you can see a browning out of that mossy vegetation right there with an otter scat right here. And there's another couple over here that it's a little too slippery. I'm not going to try to get over there, but there was one on this log as well. And you can see how close the river is. And so the otters basically come out on the bank, do their business. They might roll around and leave scat scent and then they just jump by, right back in the river and go on their way. So it's very quick and the otters do this as a matter of, it's just a behavior that is known to happen with river otters. So hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about scent communications and otters and uh, look for these things near waterways wherever you live.